Now, this is, I don't know if you want to get into this, but this is kind of a funny insidery thing. Mm -hmm. um, there, there was a lot of time between shooting this first episode and getting this thing out. Um, this is largely, this opening sequence is in your current apartment. Yes. We, we, but we, we will see him walking out of your former apartment. Well, we had originally shot the scene with Lance in a, in a refrigerator. Because it was so, so the, hot. Yeah, so this scene, so I used to live in a place that was a probably 250 square feet, maybe, maybe 300. It was pretty small. Yeah. And there was no central AC, and there was no central heating. So in the summer when it got to 108 degrees in Hollywood, my place was at 112. And so I would, I would remove all the food from my fridge for a while and sit in the fridge or put my half my body in the freezer to cool off because it was so hot. So that was originally part of the joke was that he was so poor that he had to sit in the refrigerator to cool off. But thankfully in between that and shooting this scene here with uh, Lance on the phone, I got a better job and so I could move into a nice place. So we threw out all the... All, all of this. Stuff. Well, the, there was that, but there was also a little bit of weirdness where I think we had started writing in July, mm -hmm. and by the time we started shooting, it was November. So it was, well, or October. So it was yeah, cold, October. and I think we see other characters wearing jackets. <laughs> yeah, we're well, like, why does he go out? Yeah, why does he go outside and suddenly it's cold? I, I always like that reveal, as we think he's writing the whole fixed life thing about Deb, but really, in the end, he's thinking about our Drake. Yeah, so here we are outside of Phil's former. Yeah, so this is about. Hollywood. The stuff with Lance is in downtown. Downtown, downtown LA. And then this is, this is our first interaction between the two guys. And I think that, for me, this was important to see what they, how are these guys actually friends? Because they are so different. And there's a beat in here coming on that I think I think was improvised by the, by either Danny or Ned, where uh, Lance's character actually starts laughing, and we get that right there. We get a big sense of like, oh, he he's amused. Yeah, his friend well, makes him laugh. Also, the check it, check it, check it. It wasn't wasn't anything that we we had written. Yeah. Uh, they these two regularly improv, and it's it's just all gold. It's, they're so good at improv that I often let them... I'll just record for a while and see what, see what comes out of their mouth. And that check it, check it, check it was Drake... Oh, sorry, Ned delaying and just making something silly and then uh, Danny being probably genuinely annoyed that the scene wasn't actually progressing, <laughs> but he used it. Also a little concerned because this was probably the first time that... Ned had ever driven a stick shift. Oh, don't get me don't get me started on replacing my clutch twice. <laughs> but he was genuinely he was genuinely scared, and you see that in a lot of scenes that he's somewhere between <laughs> terrified of this madman and <laughs> vaguely annoyed. I think I think Danny was sick, uh, vomitous uh, half the time he was in the car. So here we have our first big driving sequence with them together. This is on Fountain, I believe. Liz Taylor famously said, "If you want." Someone asked Liz Taylor if, uh, how do you make it in Hollywood, or, what's the saying, do you know the saying? Someone said, someone asked Liz Taylor, any advice for, for, you know, if I want to make it in Hollywood, and, and yeah. she said, take Fountain, it's faster. I thought that was really snarky. Really and bizarre. And <laughs> Not helpful, thank you. <laughs> but, but totally helpful. Uh, for us. If you're living yeah, in Fountain. I guess. Yeah. It's practical advice. So this is my old neighborhood. This is uh, Hollywood. Vine, uh, this is Sunset, the arc light, Generama Dome. So one of the things that we that we, we wanted to accomplish with Milkshake was to free it from the normal constraints of webisodes, which were, I'm in an apartment, and I'm going to stay in this apartment, or I'm in a park, and I'm going to stay in the park. And we, well, you, you know, we really wanted to expand the world of, of a webisode, of Milkshake, and make it, you know, in L.A., to make it mobile, to make it kinetic, and to really... Harken back to you know, my inspiration being uh, American Graffiti, personally, and I loved that idea. I thought it was really novel when I'd seen it of people just driving around in cars, and so I wanted to emulate that in LA 
and to push webisodes further than I had seen them go in, in this particular manner. Also, as Angelinos, we spend most of our time in our cars. Oh yes, very so, much so. I thought it was, it's, it's good to finally see something that is all about these characters going places, even though we rarely see them actually make it to their destination. Is this just them riffing a little bit? Or we had written some of this, but they always took it in a very, they always took it a little bit further. I think that they got, I mean, I don't know, this is just me. I think that they got bored sometimes, and, or, or, or what would end up happening was I would just say, okay, you know, run, run the dialogue, and then if you have any ideas, go for it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hiding in the background, miraculously. I don't know how we were able to manage that. You, you can't see me, but I'm in the background, and we're chatting about the scene. And, you know, I just wanted to make sure that they got the dialogue first that was written, and then I'd say, okay, so have some fun with it. Let's just drive around and improv a little bit, and I'll use what we can. But the Kennedy line was definitely written. That yeah. was us. Um, and even it's story related, I uh, certainly uh, w w came out of our, you know, our brains.